Good evening and welcome to the bid review subcommittee. It's Tuesday, June 21st at 6 12 p.m. On our agenda tonight, we have one item, which is a request for proposals. Well, we have two items, so you have to say them both. We have two items on the agenda. Request for proposals for refrigeration and conversion in outdoors for the Brockton High School, installation and upgrade for the sound system at Brockton High School Auditorium. Cal, you want to preface this a little bit? We have to do a quorum. Establish quorum. Oh, I need a quorum. Sorry. Judy Sullivan? Here. Kathy Ellis? Here. Tony Rodriguez? Here. Tim Sullivan is here. We have a quorum. Thank you. <coughs> Gal, you want to preface this a little bit? More? Well, today? tonight? I'll, I'll start with it. Yes. So this, the, uh, the first item is the installation of the refrigeration, repair and placement of the refrigeration and freezer system at the Brockton High School. Uh, the, currently, the, the walk-in freezer is, is pretty much it's it's done. It, it's leaking. It's 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 a mess, and it's going to fail. You know, we've actually taken most of it. We don't put food in anymore, so we need to replace the refrigeration and freezer unit. So we the the food services department, was, Tom Burke, was able to secure a grant for two hundred and forty thousand dollars. So we put you know we walked through with with contractors and and the uh, the designer engineer to to design the system. So, and then we solicited three bids for the, for the project. Um, all the bids came in uh, over what was budgeted for the, for the grant. So um, I think the lowest bid was $250,000. So at this time, I'm recommending that we, we reject the bids. We need a motion to reject. Motion to reject the bid on the refrigeration replacement. And a second. Second. A motion's been made and properly second. Just by a show of hands, all in favor? Motion carries unanimous. Next bid Our next bid review is for this upgrade for the sound equipment for the auditorium at the Brockton High School. Presently, the sound equipment in there is dated and cannot be revived. Uh, this is going to be a two-step process where we're going to replace all the sound equipment and then the next bit is going to be all the lighting equipment and whatever's left we're going to try to re uh, repair most of the benches in the auditorium. So this is the vendor that usually we usually use here to repair our existing sound equipment and it was, we've had one bid and it's really sort of a sole source since they're familiar with what we have. Carl, did anybody else submit another bid, or was this the only bid that was submitted? This was the only bid that was submitted, correct. Just a quick question. I know that when we're advertising bids, we're putting them on combis and, and on the central registrar. When we load them into combis, it, uh, well, first of all, let me go back. Sure. Are there any other areas that we can advertise for bidding? Because I know when you do put them into combines, unless there's a a lighting or unless there's a specific vendor that's looking for our services it do, mm -hmm. it's not really viewed by anybody else that would be interested in even taking a shot at trying to catch the contract so i hear what you're saying yeah i personally vetted out 20 companies for all our rfps i okay. go out and i search for any vendor that can help us and i to say look up our rfp online yeah see if you're interested because we need the bids Okay. Wanted to move forward um, we Ockers was another one that wanted to participate um, but they didn't they actually didn't get their bid in on time is it worth it to wait for their bid no. I'm just curious they're not familiar with what it is it as just much as correct. this particular event okay fair enough quite well, honestly they more than likely that. sub a lot of the work out to this, this company correct okay gotcha. it's very specific mm -hmm. no and thank you for the explanation sure. I appreciate it Cal, what? Where's the price of this bid? It's on the first page. Sorry. Yeah. So, 
This is actually the, late, yeah, the, the first board. page is the initial interest bid from the company, and then it's the first page that says the, correct, and the bid is three hundred eighty thousand dollars. Now you said this was two parts. What does that cover? This just covers the sound equipment, okay. replacement of the sound equipment. The next one is the lighting, which is a lot more. And do we have a bid on that, or we're just? We haven't put that bid out yet. It's coming out. July 1st. Okay, so basically what we're looking at right now is just, the just sound. sound. Correct. Tony? Is that just for the big auditorium or is it going to cover this portion also? Just the large auditorium. Just the auditorium. Just the big auditorium. How soon is this work going to, I mean, if oh. it gets approved, how soon will this project uh, start? That's a good point. We actually bid it in two separate parts because the sound can actually be done during the summer months up till October. We try to get it, all the sound it, um, implemented in because they have the equipment in-house right now. They can actually install it. The lighting equipment can't be in place for six to nine months because they don't have the equipment. So that's why we'd waited. So quite, quite, quite likely the, the lighting equipment will be in the next fiscal year budget, not, not this coming fiscal Correct. Year. That's why we waited for a whole to, to advertise it in 2023 instead of 2022. Do you know offhand, Carl, if, this, um, if these monies would come out of the local budget, where will we be pulling them from? The, the money, that, that's, that's a good question. And, you know, the, this, this is kind of coming from the, the mayor's office, so they, they are providing some funding for that. You know. Okay. So Correct. I think they have a grant that the part of it will be funded with. So. Okay. Any other questions about the bid? And the, the addendum, just to be clear, was an independent company who actually came in and, and, and uh, drew up what we actually needed for the auditorium. Say that again? So we had an independent... A evaluator to come into the school and tell us exactly what we needed to upgrade. That's what this needs assessment is, correct? Correct. Yeah, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. And really quickly, apologies. Sure. Um, did you say how long the project would take if we approved the sound? From st when could they start and when would it be complete? As soon as they, as soon as they have the funding, it's six months. It takes six months to replace the sound. Correct. Yeah, it's quite a bit of work because obviously they have to get its way up high. They have to do a lot of, you know, really detailed work and there's a lot of prep work and, mm. and some of the things that we have to do also to prepare it. To, you know, so it's, it's quite, if you've seen you, the sound system in the auditorium, it's, it's huge and it, it's old. So yeah. demolishing that and then doing the prep work and then installing, so it, it'll take some time. No, I understand. I know that we've joked about, you know, like... Band-Aids and toothpicks <laughs> type thing, oh, and so we're in. Yeah. We are in need of the replacement. I guess. We're actually, if you, you notice, you know, they, they were not actually using the sound system in the auditorium that was installed when it was built. We're using supplemental, you know, things on the floor, the speakers, and things on the temporary floor. Temporary devices that we lease. <laughs> okay, so that's a good question. So, what costs are we deferring by leasing that equipment to purchase this? Almost every performance that we do there. <laughs> so, no, I mean the dollar amount. Do you know, I like how I, I what it costs us to rent I, that equipment versus us? I can you find know, that out from Alan or Chris. So they they have a pretty good idea what we do to lease every time we do a, a major performance. We actually go out and lease the equipment. So All right, so easy. we know that there's some cost savings there at least, though. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is coming from. I'm sorry. This is coming from a grant you said from the mayor's office. Correct. So the school isn't putting forth any right. money. You know, we've sat on the floor. We've had it for a while on the school side, but we're like, where's the funding going to come from? So it may okay. be some from the school fund and, and I think from the city fund. I think they have a grant to, to fund it with. Thank you. We need a motion from somebody, anybody. Motion to approve the sound system project in the auditorium. And a second. Second. Just read the, um, Kathy. Just read the. Uh, I'll read it off. This the amount and everything, Kathy. I read it right off the agenda. Oh yeah, that's it's, right. Okay. Read what the wording is. Motion to approve the installation and upgrade for the sound equipment for the Brockton High School's auditorium. Second. A motion has been made and seconded. I just, I'm just going to add the price for that. Yeah. Three hundred eighty thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars zero cents. Three eighty four sixty nine even, no cents. Mm -hmm. 
Any discussion or questions on the motion? The winning vendor is Boston Light and Sound, 290 North Beacon Street, Boston, Mass. Thank you. Just by a show of hands. Thank you. All in favor? Motion carries unanimous. Any other business to come before this subcommittee? Nope. Motion to adjourn. Second. A motion's been made and properly seconded. 